In the previous lesson, we took a look at creating echo.php, which allowed us to create the HTML structure. We're going to continue that in this lesson, but we're going to build on that by adding comments here within our PHP code. I'll start by logging into my web server, and I'm going to use putty so that I can paste some things in here. Okay, and let's go ahead and navigate to the root directory of our web server. So cd space forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html. And I'm going to do an ls command and I can see echo here. Let's go ahead and create a new page. To do that I'm going to go ahead and type in sudo nano and I'm going to call this one comments PHP. Type in my password and we'll go ahead and get started by setting up the HTML structure. So that was the less than symbol exclamation mark and then doc type HTML. Space down a few and I'll close the HTML tag. We'll create ourselves a head section and a title. So we'll call this one just comments page. And I'm going to go ahead and end the head section. Also, I will create a body section. There we go. Now I can add my PHP code. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the body of my page. So between the opening and closing body tags, I'll just go ahead and open the PHP with the less than symbol, question mark, and PHP. Space down a few, and I'll close that with the question mark, greater than symbol. I want to start by adding a comment. Now we can comment things out by using the pound sign. This is one option. It is not the more common option to use, but you can use it. Uh, this line will be commented out. So that entire line will be commented out because I have the pound sign in front of it. What is more commonly used is using two forward slashes. So if we do two forward slashes on a line, that entire line from that point on will be commented out as well. So I could say this line is also commented out. In nano, it turns it kind of a bluish purple, which is nice. And so you can easily see the comments if you use the forward slashes here within nano. I can also comment out a line after, let's just say we executed some code, and then the remainder of the line will be commented out. So if I said echo, and I'll just echo my name is Matthew, and then I'm going to go ahead and end the double quote there and end the line or the statement with a semicolon. Now that line will execute, but if I wanted to add a comment to the end of the line, I could say this is my name. Maybe that's a comment I want to put on there. From that point on where I started the two forward slashes, anything to the right of that will be commented out, and everything to the left will be actually executed as code. So I can put a comment here within a line of code as well. I'll go ahead and hit enter. I can also have multiple lines of code commented out using a block comment. So I'll paste in some code here, or some just text. And I want you to look to see the way so far that we know how to do this is by using the forward slashes. So I could do this by doing forward slashes on each line of code. However, typically that is not done because it's not the most efficient way to do it. If you wanted to, you could use a block comment, which is the forward slash and an asterisk. And then come down to the end. And we'll go ahead and end this with an asterisk forward slash. So we start it with a forward asterisk, and then we end it with an asterisk forward slash. And that whole area will be commented out as well. So that will not be executed on uh, onto the PHP processor or onto the web page itself. If I save it, this time I'll do control O on my nano, and that'll save the page. I'll go ahead and hit enter, and come over here to my web page, refresh it, and I can see comments.php. If I click on it, it says my name is Matthew. So the only code that was actually executed was right there. And that is not commented out. So comments are really helpful because they can 
help anybody else who looks at your page or even yourself if you come back to a page later on if you want to leave a comment as far as why you're doing the code that you're doing. So this is leaving comments here within PHP.